Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn the tremolo technique. One of the most spectacular guitar sounds that you can produce using your fingers. It's primarily a classical technique, which is why I'm going to teach you how to play this using a classical guitar, but later on I'm going to demonstrate it on an acoustic as well. You can play it on an acoustic guitar, you can play it on an electric guitar, you can play it on any guitar. Once you have this technique under your fingers, you can play it whenever you want. So let's get down to business. The tremolo technique is actually two different techniques which you need to practice separately because they produce a completely different rhythm pattern. The two note tremolo technique produces triplets. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so you get a triplet going on um, and it produces kind of a counterpoint feel to it. So the two note tremolo technique produces triplets. The three note tremolo technique okay, just produces eighth notes or sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so when you speed it up, you get taka 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 taka. Okay, you just get straight eighths or straight sixteenths. Um, I personally prefer the triplet, which is why I'm uh, actually more proficient at it. But I do know how to play the um, the three note tremolo as well, even though I use it less because it's more classically oriented. So. They're basically the same technique, but the addition of that extra finger on the first string is so much more difficult to get used to than the two note tremolo. So we'll start with two notes. Okay? It's these three fingers. You use your thumb for the arpeggio, okay? for all the notes that aren't the high note. Um, and you use two fingers for the first string, okay? Okay, and you need to practice it really slow at first. I'm playing A minor, and you can go down and up. Now once you get used to this, you can speed it up a little. Until one day you just wake up and you're able to take it up full speed. Okay, that's usually how it goes with muscle memory. You just it takes time. Okay, but if this feels forced and you feel yourself straining, okay, just slow down and practice it slowly. Okay. Now the three note tremolo obviously uses an extra finger, so it's the thumb for all the notes and three fingers for the first string. Now that third finger addition okay, feels very very different from just two fingers. Two fingers is doable, three fingers needs practice. So. I just, when I just learned this technique, I just practiced this. All the time. To get my hand used to the position, just to get used to the position. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot of work because it's really difficult to play three notes using three different fingers on the same string. So after you're used to the position, try to add the extra bass notes or the full arpeggio if you want. I would advise starting with just one note. Until you can 
pull this off. And then, they just play the full arpeggio, or just three notes of the arpeggio. You don't need all four notes. And then, once this feels comfortable, try cranking up the speed just a little bit. This might take a while to get used to and um, I'm not certain whether I'm fully used to it uh, because it's, again, more of a classical technique uh, than an acoustic technique or a finger style technique. And uh, the, the, the triplet has a lot more function in finger style than the full four note tremolo, so I don't use it as much. But sometimes, sometimes, if I, if I, if I play, say, a high chord, okay, and I want to create, so, okay, sometimes I, I'll use it once, not, not during a whole arpeggio, and it would produce a nice effect. Um, but it's a great, great technique to know. Now, I promised you to demonstrate it on an acoustic as well. So, first of all, let's check that the acoustic is in tune. Okay. Yeah, fairly in tune. So it's it's the same idea. Okay, so it's the same idea, and uh, let's say. Okay, so triplets. And the four note or pre, the, the four note uh, tremolo. Let's see if I can. Uh, Sometimes you don't get all the notes, but you you hear you hear ghost notes, and that's a nice effect as well. Okay, you, you get you get the ghost notes there, so the technique still works, but um, somehow it's simpler to get that tremolo out on a classical guitar. So that's your tremolo lesson: two note tremolo, three note tremolo. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Have fun.